Otherwise, as we hear, council time moves very quickly. I've always been a committed Labour Party person, a Labour Party worker, uh, quite energised by the whole uh, uh, general election thing coming up. And I'm a big supporter of Carl Morris. And Carl is moving on for hopefully greater things. And uh, the party has asked me to stand in this ward, Ray's Riverside, which I'm delighted to do. Oh, you could say big boots to fill. How are you going to fill them? Well, I, t I suppose I have the benefit of some experience at the council. I've also got the benefit of working with two other really capable and very able and very experienced councillors in John Kent and uh, Val Morris Cook. Uh, I think we'll make a great team for Grays Riverside. And um, of course, you know, Carl is a he's 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 a, he's a one-off and a, a giant in local politics. And let's hope he can take that with him to Westminster. There's an interesting area here with you with the, the wall at the yeah. background. Yes. I will just turn around and continue our interview. Yes. You know, we would see River Rise and you know and the areas with some areas with many challenges. Yes. Is that part of your labour cause, to speak? Well, yes, my labour cause. I mean, this area. I used. I mean, I've lived in Grays for many, many years. Um, I've lived in this area, and. Uh, I've, I've seen lots of changes in the last 20 years in this area. I mean, the, around the wharf uh, area was all being built, uh, brought in uh, new people to live in Greys, uh, improved the property stock along the riverfront. Um, we've got the Beehive just behind me, which is a community, uh, for a big asset to our local community here in Greys Riverside. And of course, yes, we've got uh, our high the social housing on the left where uh, you know a, a large stock of social housing um, and of course behind your mic we've got the river which is uh, gives us some 